Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I'm really enjoying the weekend, the nice sunshine we've been having. Um, so I thought today, I this evening I'm going to do another kind of unboxing, a more of a showing rather than an unboxing. Um, I watched Abba Dabs recently and she did a really good video of her, her Amazon purchases this last month. Now, I really enjoyed watching that. I was fascinated by it and I thought, do you know, I quite like watching what people have bought off Amazon. And I thought, you know, maybe it might be something you might be interested in watching too. So this is, yeah, so this is basically... Amazon has actually made money for me this month. Maybe it's just being in quarantine and not having anything to do. Shop Hulk's nightmare. Or it might just be to do with just, you know, there has been more things that I've been needing to do, like in the garden and that, because we've been having um, more of time to do it. Now, so, the, so I thought, you know, this might be something you guys would like. So anyway, what I have got recently, now I'm going to have to scroll down because of prices, um, so the first thing I got, now this is um, by Neil O. I've been getting into the garden recently. I've been doing, I think if you see my, my video, our garden was a complete and utter disaster. It was really messy. And I thought, okay, you know what, I really need to uh, go out and help my husband with the gardening. He's decided in his infinite wisdom under um, to go out and just tear up loads of our slabs up to do lay his own decking. Now, my husband's not the most DIY minded of people. Uh, normally, we've had DIY to do. We've either his mum, who's really into her DIY, she absolutely she sees it as a hobby. She comes and helps us, or we get someone to do it. Now, my husband's decided he wants to learn DIY. So, you know, go home. Or, what, what do they say? Go large or go home? They, he's gone in and decided to take a all our slabs up and he's done all this kind of sand stuff everywhere and decided to lay our decking. Now I thought, look, I need to do my part. So I've been going around doing a bit of the gardening, doing some weeding. So one thing I found was it's bloody hard work on your knees. <laughs> so I bought this pad thing by Bergen and Ball. It's a plum memory phone garden Nilio and it, it was $14.99. So I thought that was that's going to be quite good. I actually got it like two days ago. I ordered it ages ago and it only came in two days ago, but it looks like it'll be worth it. It looks like it's it'll be fairly supportive. So I'm quite excited about that. I did buy gardening gloves, which I've been using. And I've also bought this really weird dandelion prong thing, but they're both in the garden and I didn't think you'd appreciate me hauling them up from the garden. But it's like a big stick with a prong. And because I was finding it was really hard to get the dandelions out at the roots. So this thing, it was a prong and you push it down, twist it, pull it up and then press a button and it ejects the dandelion into the bin. So I thought it was pretty, pretty good. Um, let's see the next thing I've got. Uh, OK, so the next thing I got now, I've been getting into my yoga as well. And, you know, I do like yoga, but I've been finding I've got my yoga mat and they keep referring to to getting like a, this was only about £10 each, I think. One was I think eight ninety nine ninety nine. It was by My Yoga. I'm trying to get my husband into it as well. So I got a black one for him. He hasn't used it yet um, because a lot of the yoga lessons involve using a yoga block or they tell you to sit in a yoga block and I didn't have one. So I got these two. So I got one for myself and one for my hubby, trying to convince him to do or or. If one of the kids are wanting to do it as well, they can they can use that as well. So that's my yoga block there, which I think it looks, it looks really good. There's lots of different colours you can get, like blue and green, whatever colour your yoga mat is, you can have it to match. It's really cute. There, has, there is other, obviously, yoga mats on there for sale, but I th thought these ones were particularly, particularly cute. Now, the next thing I got um, was for my daughter. She's obsessed with trolls, obsessed with trolls. Like she hasn't seen it before and we let her watch it a couple of weeks ago and now she's obsessed with Poppy. And we just got this this morning actually and this is her trolls duvet cover. <laughs> so, she, so she'll really enjoy that. She was really excited actually when I showed her. I was, I was supposed to put it on her bed tonight but I forgot. But I'll do it tomorrow. But it's a reversible one. So you can have different the different trolls images there. So that, that's really good. So um, yeah, I think it was £13.99 it cost. £13.99 for that one. Now, a couple of food items. Now, the first food item I got. Now, I got this. Um, I'm trying to look down the prices. So I've got it on my, my computer here. So sorry, excuse me if I'm... I'm looking down down here. Now, if you looked at my snack box when I did a, a snack of bees unboxing um, the other day. Now, sorry, I apologise if I'm looking down. You're just trying to find the price of this. 
Um, I did a snack of these unboxing the other day and although I didn't really like the price of the box, normally it was going to be £19.99 and I paid £9.99 for it and even then I thought it was expensive. There was a couple of items I absolutely adored of it and one of them was the Miro plant-based delicious peanut chocolate and honestly this stuff was absolutely delicious so i think i'm trying to think how many bags i get in here 12 bags of these and i think it came to like 15 pounds and oh these are just gorgeous they're like they're like m m's but nicer and i don't think they use actual milk i think it because they're vegan it's just plant-based and delicious so i'm trying to see what they say on it here and it they, they do other things as well i think too but this is this stuff's really i mean it's it's just dreamy so i got a ba a big box of these the other one i got a big box of was and another thing i really enjoyed in the um in the box was these uh what do they call them love corn let's see if i can open it up and you can see what it's like now this is like a big massive box of them this is my other find in that box that I absolutely adored. And this was, I'm just going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, sorry about this. And this came to £15 as well, but you get all these in it. And they are so delicious. So the, the flavours we've got here, we've got the, the plain ones here, which is just the salt ones, the sea salt. We've got some smoked barbecue, that looks gorgeous. And we've got some... Um, habanero chili i'm sure my husband will like the habanero chili ones and start with that so yes because i enjoyed the, the the ones the sea salt ones i got and the, the snack of so much i thought i'm gonna get a big big set of these <laughs> they're so nice next thing i got was two things by child's farm now child's farm um i love this brand for kids and you know this was six pounds each but it's a massive mat we go through it so much like all three of my kids use it so I thought it was, you know, worth six pounds for for the big bottle now, because Charles Farm can be quite expensive even for the small one. So this was the five hundred mils, and this is the hair body um wash. It's so it smells so nice. This is this is this blackberry and organic apple. Oh, it's just gorgeous smell, and it's really good because it, you know, it doesn't. It's it's very natural. It's vegan, cruelty free natural dried ingredients organic fruit and it doesn't really sting their eyes if it doesn't sting their eyes if it gets in their eyes so it's really really good um the other thing i got was bubble bath which is also good for sensitive skin my boys have quite sensitive skin um so it's safe for people who are maybe prone to eczema and this is organic raspberry and i haven't seen the organic raspberry before but it smells like raspberry aid it's so gorgeous so a nice bubble bath there the next thing I got now, this is something that Abadabs opened. She bought this in her channel, and I just thought this is really, really clever. Now, this is the it's called the Color Coral or Color Coral Universal Dust Cleaner. And I'm trying to find the price of this. This was $7.99. So, what it does, you open it up, I'll take the, the top off it. What you do, it looks like putty, doesn't it? It looks like that kind of gloop thing that the the kid that kids have but what you do is you it looks like that but what you do is you you roll it up see if i can take it out of here it's just going to make a right mess it comes out like that Woo! but then what you do is you put it into like your keyboards or the vents in your car and it takes the dust off it it looks really good i'm also thinking as well maybe you know, you get these corners of your room as well, which always seem to get dust on them. You can never get it off of the, the the Hoover or the duster. This might take it off too. So it basically, if you can see there, that's what it does. And it just says they are, well, keep away from children so they don't eat it, it says, and direct sunlight and keep in a dry place. So that's what you do. You take it out, you stick it in your keyboards or parts of your car that you can't get out dust easily. And it takes it out. It looks really good. So um, Abba Dabs was raving about this. So I thought I'll, I'll give this a go. The next thing I got. This is something that was in my wish list on Amazon. For so, 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 so long. And this was the scoop that cut through ice butter. Ice cream like butter. Um, my Our ice cream scoops are pretty rubbish. And I always find that it takes eight. You know, it like it. It. 
it would take so long for you to get ice cream out. And this is this is basically it's like a thermal warming it's a warming ice cream scoop. It says green design, um, no soupy ice cream and no electricity needed for it. So what you do is it just cuts through ice cream like butter. The handle transfers heat to the scoop head. So no like running your your spoon underneath boiling water anymore. So I'm really excited about that because like I say, when in the summer when we're trying to scoop ice cream out, we used to like. We had to scoop it, it was just absolutely rubbish. So I thought this will be good for this because it's getting warmer weather. Now, the next thing I got was from Joseph and Joseph. Um, my kids have been doing a lot of what they've been doing with their granny at the moment is she's an, an old home economics teacher, that's what she used to do before she retired. And um, the boys have been doing lots of um, cooking with her online. So we've got Zoom, so we've got Zoom set up. Granny's got Zoom set up where she lives. Boys have got Zoom set up here and she'll do an online cooking lesson with them. The problem is we've only got one cheese grater. <laughs> so they've always been fighting about this cheese grater and or the, or the cheese grater always seems to be in the wash. So I thought I'll need to get another cheese grater. So I got this one from Joseph and Joseph and what I like about this, I'll see if I can get this out of the packet to show you. It's going to have something, it's going to have a bit of plastic on it, isn't it? Oh, here we go. So it's got this, but what you can actually do this bit here, which I think is really cool, you press this and it, the handle, I'll, I probably won't be able to do this just now, it probably won't work. How do you work? I don't know how I do this. Anyway, the handle bends like that so you can sit it up on, on something. Once I work out how to do it, it's probably going to take me ages to work out how to do it. But anyway, the, the, the handle bends like that and then you can just like scrape you can have it leaning on something and then do that or you can hold on to it and it looks like it's got two the two different serrated edges I'm trying to see how much i paid for that one that was that was about i think that, that was 20 pounds i paid 20 pounds for a cheese crater maybe it's coming up 20 pounds but when i got it, it was cheaper 20 pounds with 20 pounds don't tell my husband but this looks like one that'll be really good and also gives you measurements down there as well it's a great cheese grater it's it's a it's a bougie cheese grater and the last thing i got is our, our um, can opener broke the handles came off and it was just like really sharp metal so i just got a an oxo cool grips can opener for 10 pounds so that looks like a good one the last thing I, I, I got and i was going to show you was um this wasn't amazon but when I did my Moi Men box a couple of months, uh, about a month ago, we got um, a little seed bomb. And I love this idea of these seed bombs so much. Now, seed bombs are great because it's we've got this... Um, months ago, you might have seen my video on the bee bombs. Now, is this, these seed bombs are great at putting seed, you know, plants... Uh, will grow types of plants that will attract bees, butterflies and you know other endangered kind of insects and these ones I got, I got two I got two different boxes, I got this one here which was a cornflower fairy light, I just like the name of it um, and what this one was it says the seed bomb is filled with a vibrant mix of colourful cornflowers brighten up dull space with these easy to grow fairy light like cornflowers loved by pollinators and that's really what I'm trying to say, sorry my rambling on and this, like I said, this is by Kabloom, um, if you want to go online to see it. This attracts bees. Bees are great to come into your garden. Bees pollinate things. It's what keeps our plants alive, which keeps our food supplies alive. If it wasn't for bees, most of our food sources would probably die out, you know, like our vegetable sources and our plant sources. So we really need to keep supporting the bees. So this is just, you just throw this in your garden. Um, This biodegrades and the seeds will grow into lovely flowers. Now the other one I got was I got the per the the poppy peach bomb and it gives me and the love bomb and what it gives me is two of the poppy peach bomb into the love bomb and let's see which is the difference between them. Obviously poppy will be one of them won't they? Uh, let's see if I can open and see what, what they look like. Oh I love that that's cute so it says throw it and grow it um, and this has forget-me-not seeds, a wildflower known for its massive, tiny, vibrant blue flowers, and it's symbolic of faithfulness and enduring love. What they do actually is, um, if you're getting married, actually, as party favor, as like wedding favors, they sell these. 
So what you know, especially if you're into like your nature and everything and your environmental stuff, how cute would that be to have on every guest's plate as a wedding favour? I think that and it says spread the love. How cute is that? And the poppy one there, I love poppies so much. And um, they look so beautiful. And this is a pit poppy peach bomb. And so this seed bomb is filled with corn power corn pirate poppy seeds a wildfire known for its scarlet paper-like flowers they're a symbol of wartime remembrance peace and hope so that's how when you get other ones as well if you go on their website but that's kabloom and that's their seed bombs and i think it's well worth doing especially if you're out in your garden doing your gardening at the moment and you want to do something for the environment i think those are those are perfect anyway thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye